Hey guys, how you doing? This is Andy Huang. 大家好，我是黄家贤。Hey, today we're going to talk about something.、Uh, it just came as a、um, not as a surprise, but、uh, I, I was kind of shocked to find out.、Um, I was working with a friend of mine.、Um, you know, he was helping his friend, and then so、um, you know, I'm looking for two families in the towns of like Valley Springs, Lawrence, and、uh, Saint Albans, and, and Rosedale, and so on and so forth. So no big deal. So when I ran it, okay, I ran the numbers. I got <clears throat> ran through the data. I was able to find 44 two families in the four towns listed. So I said okay. So I'm looking at it. You know, at a glance, it, everything looks okay. You know, so when I sent it over, now I'm looking at closer because it, I wasn't. It's again like what I mentioned before. This is not my listing, nor this is not my buyer. I'm simply helping out, you know, a friend that's、uh, helping out a good friend of his. So I wanted to just take this opportunity, and I just want to kind of just let everyone know:、uh, be very careful when、uh, how you interpret these、uh, data, because I remember when I was taking a class at a LIBOR class,、um, the instructor. Said the data is only as good as the person who's interpreting it. So what I meant、um, to, to, to tell you is, think about it. There are 44 properties that I sent over. Okay, because there is no、uh, there's no agency、um, you know in place because I'm not even working with this person. Obviously, going forward with the way it is going, I believe、um, it, it will become. Um, you know, a an, um, an agency、um, relationship type of、um, client. So, but at this moment, there is nothing in place. So I'm looking at it. <clears throat> it was just I'm just surprised how how different towns are、uh, presented to buyers completely different. Okay, for these four towns that I mentioned before. I, I, you know, I guess it's a norm because I'm looking at,、uh, you know, for those of you that if you're not in the、uh, real estate industry, you understand that there are few ways you could get your hands、um, houses, properties, or locations, whatever you call. Okay, most of you will log on to Realtor.com or log on to Zillow.com, Trulia.com. You know, basically one of those, and you'll be able to find some houses, and then you'll contact a、um, an agent. Say you know what, I'm looking at this. I'm wondering if you could take me go see it. That's how normally how it goes. So now, if you pay attention, there are two parts in what we have access to. We have access to a property description.、Um, it's called the property remarks, and also、uh, remarks to other realtors. So basically, we tell we will, we put it in the field how we want other people to、um, synchronize the data. Okay, there's a way where、uh, Zillow gets all the data.、Um, you know, it's called syndication. Syndication meaning that we'll put something in our MLS, and then they will go through,、um, you know, our database to grab that info. Okay, so when they extract that info, that part where the remark goes to the realtors, that part doesn't show up on your side. Obviously, there's a reason for it. So that's giving the other、um, realtors the heads up. What's up with this property? So on and so forth. So it, it's just amazing how the information,、um, again, like what I was telling you, information it's power, and also information you will only have as much as I tell you, or you will only have as much understanding as what I'm telling you. So I'm asking.、Um, I'm trying to dig a little bit more. So I realized that. When they met with、um, you know the other、um, I guess listing agents or other、uh, agents through Zillow so on and so forth, nothing was ever mentioned. They never said anything about the properties.、Um, so so I'm saying, so no one ever told you that the house has ECB violations, the house has water damage, so on and so forth. The reason why is ECB violation for those of you, it's called you know it's an environmental control board violation. It, it's no you know it's just if you have garbage, if you take out the garbage too early, like. For, for a few towns, you're not supposed to take out the garbage、uh, before five o'clock or six o'clock because they don't want to cluster the the street with garbage. So, in that each offense, I believe it's like hundred dollars the first time, three hundred, a couple of hundred, and so on and so forth. So that's what ECB is. All right. So, and she goes, no. I'm like, okay.、Mm, I guess you know. I guess they, they they'll work it out with the seller, whatever. But when I when I found out that the water damage part, it especially says all cash deal. And I'm saying, do do. Do you understand what it means? 
she goes um, yeah the, you, you, you get a better discount if you pay all cash I said no I said they only take cash meaning that if you have if you're using um, you know if you're trying to get a mortgage you won't even get it and she goes oh yeah I say okay so so it goes back to I, I posted the other day um, you know it's been a while so so for those of you if you need it let me know and I'll, you know I'll do other another version or I'll repost that one it's how to handle all cash um, transactions basically what it is is that the all cash transactions th there's not a third party involved meaning that because you're not getting a loan so the lending institution is not going to step in and say hey listen let's do this that's that and let's get you know appraise that out to make sure that in case if you default if you don't pay your mortgage we could sell your we could auction off your property and then reclaim some of our investment back so that part is not there yes I give you, you're still gonna work with an attorney. The attorney's still gonna order the uh, the title search, and, you know, and all that stuff. So yeah, that, that part is still there. That protection is still there. But you have to be very careful because especially when it's clearly stated that this is an all cash deal and then, um, you know, the house is so as is and then, uh, you know, there are tenants inside, just not, you know, it, it's, it's surreal you know as I'm reading because it's saying that oh tenants are not cooperating so no showing you can only drive by and you know so when I asked her then do they tell you this and then she was like well yeah they, they said that you know what they said that we have um, um, you know, the way they they were it was uh, if you put if you you know pay cash you get a better rate and then you know the the tenants there already so when you buy the house um, you, you're not gonna you don't have to worry about paying the mortgage because someone else is paying for it <laughs> they're paying your rent I'm like oh my god this is this is completely different than than obviously uh, code of ethics it, it's it's a very powerful um, you know rules and protocols that I that I put in place that uh, I follow but again not everyone follows a code of, you know code of ethics I you know I, I, I gotta um, look at that from that aspect then I realized wow you know what this is amazing because I said no that's absolutely not what they're saying they're saying that you are paying not only you cannot see the house you can't see it because they won't open the door. The tenants inside are not cooperating, meaning you you can't even see the inside. And I'm saying, you know, you're buying this the way it is. I say if you if you see it as is, it's like open. Uh, it's like if you go to any Best Buy or any, they have those open packages. You're buying it just as it is. You know what? Something happens, whatever. Because you want to get that value, that's what you're paying for. You're gambling a little bit. She goes, "No, no, I, I did not know that." So I say, "Yeah, I, I, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised." Okay, so and I told her, I said, "You know what? It's okay. You don't hire me. It's okay. You don't use me. However, I, I strongly advise you, whoever you do use, please use a realtor. Please use someone that will take, that will put your interest, um, in front of their interest. Okay, they will think about you." before they think about themselves. So, and then also I told her, this is what happened. You, you're buying it, read it very carefully. It basically tells you, you're paying this, I think the cheapest one is like 400,000, um, and then th there's one for like 650. They're anywhere between, you know, open violations to water damage, you're buying as it is, you cannot see the house. Uh, that basically tells you, you're throwing your money out, and there's a good chance you're gonna have a lot of problems, you know, down the end. Because, you know, I understand, you know, they tell you, oh, don't worry, these tenants don't have uh, their tenants in will, meaning that they don't have, a, you know, a contract. You could kick them out anytime. <laughs> Always remember that the state of New York, it's a very pro-tenant state, meaning that if you don't pay rent, you, I, I, I don't want to say you get away with it, but there's a lot of things in place to help you um, kind of you know in your favor let's just put it that way you know I don't want to say too um, too negative or, or too aggressive about anything but you know th there are advantages and disadvantages in this case because they're tenants at will yes you are right there is not a contract in place so you will write them something in you know you send them a certified mail in 30 days you know tell them that please move out in 30 days and they'll find a way to move out I gotta tell you in my experience and even also remember my um, my my broker um, he's a attorney okay so 
we have seen yes as as fast as a couple of months like like you know four or five months they've they moved out we've seen people who's living rent free for a year and a half now and there's nothing you could do so so be very careful because um you know when you when you buy especially these uh, all cash please you know be very careful do your homework okay um yes you you have an agent you think you know by you hiring an agent you're thinking you could reduce some of the risks yes you do get that protection but you got to be able to ask a lot of questions you have to get you know a lot of answers that satisfy yourself don't try to understand this don't don't try to say oh you know what they're they're protecting me because they know anything happens i can sue them you know that's not the right approach okay so and if you ever need any help please let me know because a lot of these things they, they'll tell you right up front you can't see it imagine this buying a house for half a million dollars oh okay imagine buying something for half a million dollars and i'm telling you right up front you cannot see what you're buying it didn't that set off an alarm you're like okay it's like me telling you oh i would like to sell you this um anything you can think of okay and it's gonna cost you this much but you can't see it you can't see what you, i'm only gonna show you once like here you see the picture you can't touch it you can't feel it you can't see what's going on inside right see I'm telling you this, so you understand. This is crazy. Anyone that said, okay, let's do it, it would be crazy, right? And yet, there are people just got, for some reason, uh, greedy, or whatever the case may be, they, you know, they get you know, caught in these type of situations. All right, so again, my name is Andy Huang. Uh, it's been a pleasure speaking with you. Please let me know. You can always find me on social media across any platform, uh, Andy Huang. And also, my direct line is 646-996-0859. Have a fantastic day, and then I will speak with you guys later. Thank you. And also, have a fantastic weekend, awesome weekend coming up. Hope you guys get out and do a lot of things you want to do. All right, guys. 嗨，大家好，我是黄家贤。嗯，今天我刚好就讲到说，因为我在帮我有一个朋友，其实也不是我的，呃，不是我在卖的房子，也不是我也不是代表买家，告诉我有一个朋友，他呃在帮他另外一个朋友。那你知道，通常遇到这种朋友的朋友的时候呢，我都会跟他们讲一样的话，我不太喜欢，呃，就是介入在中间这样朋友的朋友，变成说你会拿的。所以我说那没关系，我这样跟你讲好了，我很快的跟你清简单的讲一下，详细情形你还是跟你的朋友讲，我也不是说想要赚他的钱，你跟他。讲还是需要联络，他不请我也没有关系，让他请一个那个呃地产经济是啊、呃、有经验，尤其是有法律方面的这个经验的，因为他买的这个就很简单，他在找长岛那边的，你知道长岛那边分成很多区吗？那你知道，而且 Flushing 的房价现在太贵了，他想找一个两家庭的。那两家庭呢，在 Flushing 这边的话呢，现在价钱都已经飙到了差不多要一最便宜的，我们帮他看也都差不多一百二三十万了。还有在那个 Parsons 跟 Cherry 交接那边有个两家两个两家庭的，要一百九十万左右。那他现在在看这两家庭，他有之前有找联络过另外一个那个地产公司，他说那边的话才六七十万，五六十万都有。我说哈，五六十万，我说我我我上次卖一个 condo 都不止，都都都已经快要六十万了。他说好，那我帮你看一下好了。我把那资料看了一下。他把这四个给我，这四个 town 给了我看了一下以后呢，我找到了四十四栋两家庭的房子，是很便宜，因为他呃那个区的价钱的关系，还有一点就是说他那边的两家庭比较小，因为他那边两家庭的那个呃地的占那个占那个总的占地面积呢，都是差不多三千尺左右的。我说哦 ，OK， 那难怪了。OK， 好，那没关系，那反正大的大的大的住，小的小的住嘛。然后我再看看看，我越看就越不对，因为它上面写了很多东西，你知道，它上面有一个写的，其中有一个就写到了，呃，房子不能看，因为里面现在有住人。都说哈，房子不能看，而且它里面就写明了、哦，呃，现在里面有住人，然后那个里面的租客很不合作，所以没有办法看到房子，你只能这样开车从外面这样看。然后我一听到这我就笑了，我说 OK， 好。我说 OK， 我们等一下再讲好了。那那那,那我说那还有呢？他跟你讲什么？我我然后他就说哦对啊，呃，他跟我说这用现金买的，就就可以有一个好的价钱。然后呢，里面的这个因为里面的租客的话呢，嗯、呃，他们也不用担心，因为这样的话呢，马上里面就有租客，就帮就给我房租。然后呢，我就可以不用担心，也不用这么这么那、呃、付起来不用那么付那个压力没有那么重。然后我一听到这，我就说等等等等等一下好了，你你你越讲越不像话了。这个他 OK 好我。说我不知道这你找的这个地产公司的是谁，可是我可以很清楚的告诉你，这个地产公司的人呢，绝对是没有在想到你的利益。他说为什么会这样？我说
不要讲别的了，我跟你讲，刚刚你讲的这几个东西完全是反过来的了。他这上面这几栋房子，他带你去跟你讲了这几栋房子呢，上面写明了你只能用现金买。不是你用现金可以买到好价钱，而是因为它这只能用，因为为什么有它只能用现金呢？因为它这边有违规，它这边有那个房子曾经有进水，你知道那那长岛的时候啊，有一段就是有一边底下那边有因为有遇到淹水的事情。他说：“哦，这些东西他都没有跟我讲。”我说：“嗯、我说对啊，我我也不会惊讶，他没有跟你讲，因为从他刚跟你讲的这两个东西，他完全反过来讲了。”我说：“你这不是有人可以在里面帮你付房租啊？是因为里面有人现在住着，他根本不让这个人进去看。”我在我我跟他讲：“我说你想想，你现在要买的话，你是买家嘞，以后你就变成房东嘞，而且现在这个房东都不敢敲门让他们，他要卖房子了，他都不敢敲门跟这些人讲说，我有买有个买家想要看看你里面，你想这里面的房客不是什么凶神恶煞吗？”他说：“哦，我没有想到这些。”我说：“好了，我说告诉你，这上面写的是写什么？上面写着呢，你要全部要拿现金出来买。上面这些又有违规，你买这房子就是照现在这样子买了，没得讲。就好像你到外面去买床垫，或者是到店里面去买一个那种拆过箱子的这种这种呃样品一样，你就是这样子，你买回去就这样，坏了就坏了，你自己倒霉。”我说，然后他他们上面还写了这些东西，就是又有违规的，又有淹过水的，然后呢，你要拿现金去买，然后呢，还有你在里面呢，你房子都不能看，因为里面的客，里面的现在住的租客呢，非常不合作，不会让你开门进去看的，你就只能开车从外面这样看一眼，这样下去，你就这样子，这种情形之下，你下你下那个 offer， 你要去买这个房子。他说，哦，这样子，那那那当然不会买了。我说是啊，他就是因为你看，我跟你讲，我我用合法，我我用这个。我用这个呃这种方式，如果说什么东西都跟你讲了，你看都不会想要去看啦，那你看都不会想要去看的，他怎么样赚到你的这些钱？我说，所以说你就要知道，你找的时候，所以我为什么一跟你说，你去找人的时候呢，你一定要找到这些人呢，他会把你的利益。放在他的利益前面，他现在就是因为说我什么都不要跟你讲好了，因为我一讲了你就不去了，你知道吗？我我一讲你你看都不出来看了，你你不出来看的那我我怎么样？我们这边你知道我们大家赚地产的钱是，你们要是不不不过来看的话，我根本就没有钱赚，你知道吗？所以说我就嗯呃昧着良心跟你稍微呃把东西稍微。稍微转一个方式跟你讲，我说那不是转一个方式，他现在已经是等于就是在在骗人了这样，所以说呼吁大家要注意一下，因为这些房子呢，你知道很多时候呢，你要知道一件事情，大部分的房子呢。差不多的价钱，差不多区的房子呢，都是一样的价钱。如果说你会看到有些房子价钱特别便宜的话呢，你要很小心，因为它一定会有一些什么问题。因为就是这样子嘛，买东西，尤其是他又是讲又是讲了，你想好了，如果说我们今天买的东西，我让你不要去看，我让你拿这笔钱出来，你都不要去看。你会不会想要买这东西？我说我打个比方，我给你个东西，你像我刚刚讲的一样，你就不要去看。我给你手上抓了一个东西，哎，我给你看一下，我手心里面有抓一个东西，我抓一个东西呢，给你就稍微这样看一下，你也不能拿来摸，你也不能进去看，你什么都不能弄，你这样的话呢，你给我一些钱，这样你想都不可能去买的嘛，绝对不可能会去买的，所以一样的道理，所以大家要小心一下这些东西。然后呢，很多时候呢，你要想到呢，搬在当里面有住客，尤其他写清楚、写明了里面的住户住客不搬出来的时候呢，这个时候你要，我要请你要大家非常小心，因为我之前就遇到有一个这样的事情。后来好险，我的那个律师啊、呃、非常聪明，他想到了办法，呃，就等于说，嗯、呃，我也不太不太想在这边讲了，就是说，你们大家如果说想要知道的话呢，啊、呃，让、呃、私底下让让我知道一下，你可以在所有 social media 上面都可以找到我，叫 Andy 黄，然后我的电话号码是六四六九九六零八五九，这样的话我再跟你详细的跟你讲的时候是怎么解决的，不过要很小心，尤其这些人说他写明了。房子交给你的时候不是空屋的时候，或者是有任何的违规的时候，或者是说有曾经有进过水这些，你们要很小心。OK， 好，你看有什么问题的话让我知道一下，谢谢你。